Welcome back to Data Knackle. So today what I'll be showing you or walking you through is how to read and write text files or CSV files within your directory and you can bring them into Jupyter Notebook using Python programming language and use them as data frames where you can manipulate them and one of the things that you know one of the reasons I'm doing this is I remember when I was just first starting out and one of the things I ended up having to do is pull a lot of files into my uh, working environment and a lot of times I you know I would end up having to deal with little issues here and there when the, the name of the file was different or the directory was different so let's go ahead and walk through that process jump right in All right, so we're going to use pandas library as PD, and then from pandas, going to import the data frame. And so, in order to see exactly which path our current directory is pointed to, we're going to use our OS library. And so, from OS, we can use get your current working directory, and it shows you the current working directory where which path you're pointed to. And then another cool thing with uh, OS is you can list the files that are sitting inside your uh, directory path. And so these are the files sitting in my directory file uh, directory path. And we're going to be using this personal income .csv file here. So I'll bring this in. Let's create our data frame variable. So I'm going to use pandas read underscore CSV function so that's the name of the file we're pulling in and then if we want to see the actual file itself just basically call it as a data frame and so I'm not going to go into the details of analyzing any of these income numbers but basically just showing you you can read your files into your Jupyter Notebook and then be able to manipulate them, create models, etc. And then once you're done manipulating your files, you can then write them back out as the manipulated file that you're done with. And in order to do that, we can just call our actual variable and then we're going to use two underscore CSV. And then we'll just call this file that we're writing out. Um, we'll call it a different name, Python income. Uh, personal income one and the reason we're not calling it the same name is you know you don't want to end up overwriting the original file so just do that and then in order to validate that we actually did write the file out there we'll just use our os.list dir function and then we can see our personal income one file written out there and it's essentially that simple all right. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me. If you like this video, go ahead and uh, like it, subscribe to the channel. Um, feel free to let me know if you have any areas you'd like to explore inside Jupyter Notebook or Python programming language or anything tech related. I'll be more than glad to see if I can support that initiative. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.